A dreary start to the week, but the clouds are moving out of a lot of places tonight. But what will the rest of the week look like? Meteorologist Evelyn Chab has our answers in your next weather. Yeah, I sure do, Pat. And I will tell you, there are some changes on the horizon. We did get a little bit of that sunshine today, but not a lot. A little bit of that reverse clearing where we get a little bit of sunshine at the coast, but the rest of us really staying socked in. Remember, this is not typical for this time of year. The June gloom is the first half of the day, and generally we see clearing. But low pressure has really inundated our forecast over the last couple of weeks, bringing in not just the cloudier conditions, but also the showers. We're still looking at a few showers through our desert communities and our higher elevations, including our mountain communities of Big Bear right now. So really, this pattern could continue over the next couple of days. That's certainly not out of the question. Otherwise, some fog in the mix. And as we get a look at your future cast right here, you will see that fog really staying with us with very mild temperatures as we head into your Tuesday, a mix of clouds and sun and calm conditions. Now, 70s by the time we head into the afternoon. So it could actually get warmer for some moments there. We're still looking at a bit of cloud cover by Wednesday. And then by Thursday, we're expecting to see patchy cloud cover along the coast. And by the end of the week, we actually could get a little bit of clearing. So again, we've seen some sunshine poke out behind the clouds. It hasn't been all clouds, but certainly the majority, mostly cloudy most of the time for most of Southern California through the end of the week. We are expecting wind and like we said, heatless afternoons, if you will, for our desert communities, even though we are expecting to see a little more sunshine in the higher elevations. And yes, unseasonable showers at this time continuing into our June. 24 hour, yep, rainfall totals, measurable amount. Santa Anita, just over a quarter of an inch. Tustin, just under a quarter of an inch, just about a third of an inch, a little more. For Claremont, Eaton Canyon, under half an inch. And Banning, North Banning three quarters of an inch just above tomorrow's highs 60s and 70s so we're mild but again we're struggling to get to average eventually we do get to average once high pressure starts to rebuild across southern california and once that happens Temps will get a few degrees warmer. 70s might turn to 80s for some of us. You'll see 60s turning to 70s for the remainder of the week, flirting with the 80s for the basin in Orange County by Saturday. For the valleys, we could hit the 80s by Friday with mid 80s by Saturday, a little cooler by our Father's Day Sunday. For the Inland Empire, 70s turning to 80s and then flirting with the 90s by Saturday and Sunday, a little cooler by Monday. And for the beaches, we're expecting 60s for the next seven days with a mix of clouds and sun until then. So not a major beach day, I would say, if dad wants to go out to the beach on Sunday, but still mild and certainly pleasant. And for the high desert, we're expecting 80s and 90s, even by Saturday. For now, though, Pat, back to you. All right, thanks, Sam. CBS2 is now CBS Los Angeles. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.